The company that owns the Red Sox is looking to profit from record interest in the World Cup this year by hosting a soccer game tonight between Scotland Celtic FC and Sporting CP from Portugal. About 30,000 tickets have been sold so far above Fenway Sports Group's targets, but 5,000 short of a sellout. They're expecting a little luck tonight from walk-ups. Here's the president of Fenway Sports Group on tonight's event. One marketing strategy has been to open up the facility uh, for non-baseball events, to bring in uh, non-baseball fans to concerts, to ice hockey games, and now to soccer matches. Um, so we see it as a marketing uh, vehicle. Uh, there is a significant revenue component to these events for us. Now, he would not disclose figures to Bloomberg, but Fenway does make more on baseball than any other event at the ballpark. But as he said, there is a revenue component. Tickets, by the way, for tonight's event range from $20 to $120, Margaret. All right, so we teased this saying we we're going to tell everyone about A-Rod and his uh, 600th home run. That ball, how much is that going to go for? Yeah, that's the big question, right? How much will it go for? Experts are telling me not as much as his 500th ball. Now, we looked at the pricing trend for so-called milestone balls in the last few years. McGuire getting an insane $3 million uh, over 10 years ago for that 70th home run ball. But take a look at that. Look at how it's dropped off the cliff for a home run, uh, these milestone home run balls. Now, Dave David Hunt of Hunt Auctions saying we'll see fifty to hundred thousand dollars for A Rod's six hundredth ball, which could be any day. Now he's at five ninety eight right now. But the entire market, Margaret, for a modern day memorabilia has been hit by the steroids mess.